Now this weekend it's round number three of the Formula One 2021 season and we return to the Portuguese Grand Prix in Algarve in Portimao. So I thought to myself, just like with the last race in Imola, let's throw down with some F1 cars and have a bit of a race around there and have a bit of fun. But before we do guys, we're going to do a quick little hot lap to kind of refresh the memory of what the track layout is like and by far one of the most exciting circuits on this year's F1 calendar. Now guys, before we jump into it, as always, if you're new to the channel, if you want to hit the red subscribe button, we're so close to 60k subs, that would be massively appreciated. Like the video if you're going to enjoy it, and as always, the links to the mods used in this video will be linked down below in the description. We're on a Seto Corsa using the Race Team Studio F1 2021 car, and we're going to have a bit of fun with it, so let's jump into it. Okay, here we go. We're going to go for a quick lap of the Portimao circuit. It won't be perfect, I will admit. It's a pretty tricky circuit to get right. And there's a lot of bumps, elevation changes, but nonetheless, on the pit straight, DRS wide open, 325Ks into turn one. The track drops away from you in the brake zone, flat out through the kink of turn two, into turn three, late braking there into the hairpin, trying to pick up the traction as we go through turn four. Very tricky corner, this one. The back end wants to slip away from you. That should be flat out in the actual rule life race, I think. That towards turn five. A little bit of a hairpin here, very tricky section. Got to really slow the car down in this because the back end will try to get away from you. Then we go flat out through this little left kink, which feeds into six and seven. Little lift through the first one and then straight line break. Pick up a light apex through the next right hander. Easy on the throttle over the hill. The back end wants to completely slip away from you. Flat out through the next left for turn eight. And now into a double apex right of nine and 10. Important again to get a late apex with focus on your exit downhill. Flat out through the next left at, I believe, turn 10 and then into 11. Another late apex, kind of a hairpin here, which feeds into another hairpin, turn 12. A bit wide there, missing my apex a little bit, but we are going to come through for a late apex to get a better exit. And now the final corner, I believe, turn 13 or turn 14. Just waiting for the DRS to open as we cross the line. Now, and there we go, a lap of Portimao. It's going to be a 1 minute 20.2. There we go. So... There's a little reference time to aim for, but now we're going to move into a race with some AI cars and have a bit more fun with it. Okay, this is it. We're going to jump into the action here. 20 Formula 1 cars racing around the Portuguese Grand Prix, and we're racing a Sebastian Vettel, of course. Just to run you through the grid really quickly, we've got Hamilton, Verstappen, Bottas, Perez, Leclerc, Gasly, Ricardo, Sainz, Norris, and Sonoda in the top 10. Raikkonen, Alonso, Giovinazzi, Ocon, Stroll, Russell, Schumacher, Latifi, and Mazepin. So there you go. Let's jump into the action. Let's see how this goes. Okay, here we go then. It's time for the race at Portugal. We're going to run the T-cam for this one, so that way we can have the virtual mirror. Six red lights are on. And the six red lights are out and away we go. Pretty poor start, as always. We always tend to get a bad start in these. That was turn one, though. We're going to try and make our way through, but also a little bit cautious. Going to make a few adjustments to the car as we head towards turn three going to try and pick up a couple of places without being super aggressive. We all know how stupid the AI are on a Soto Corsa, but we've got the inside line free here, so we're going to take the apex, or try to take the apex, as we're up to P16 already, down towards the hairpin. Very tricky corner this one. I just want to try and avoid incidents if possible. We're going to go for the outside through there. That actually worked out quite well for us, and we've gained another place up to P15. So a good start so far, actually. As we now head into the twisty Mickey Mouse section, the very tricky part of the track now where it's really hard to get the power down. You've got to be really careful and gradual with the throttle into this double right. I thought I had a look at, at uh, George Russell there, but not way through just yet. Maybe into this next hairpin we can try on the brakes, maybe. Down the inside of George. Oh, it's close bit of contact. Luckily, damage is off. Russell will hold on for now. I'm going to try and get the cut back through here. I'm going to crank up the engine modes. Can we maybe go for a little overtake attempt? I'm going to wait. No DRS until lap three. The AI will use theirs now, but we're going to you know, be realistic with it. In the slipstream note of George Russell, down towards turn one. Do I dare go for this move? Down the inside we go. Oh, it's close, but Russell holds on. We've got a car off the track there. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> All right, let's just keep going. But we've got two cars out of the race, an Alpha and the McLaren, I believe. So we're going to get an extra two places from that one. 
Bit of a shame, as the move on George was actually quite a nice one. Let's try and catch up to the cars ahead, unless George uh, tries to go for a move here. We've got um, another McLaren off at the hairpin here as we uh, try to avoid spinning the car. George trying to fight back, but we're going to just about stay ahead for now. So, yeah, let's see if we can make some progress here. I think we're up to P11, so we're flying right now. What a start to this race. This hairpin is so scary. The back end just wants to cut loose mid-apex. There's a, there's a little dip in the corner, so you have to try and avoid it. I'm trying to make some progress, though, to see if I can catch up to these cars here. The AI seem to have pretty decent pace. I think I'm on maximum difficulty, so 100% AI on this game. And the aggression, I believe, is on 5%. So, yeah, it looks like the AI are actually quite decent around this track for a change, which is quite refreshing. Besides a couple of incidents here and there, in general, they've been pretty decent and respectful. Now we're starting to close up to Ocon now, though, as you can see. Up towards the hairpin, bit of a DRS train of cars here, so you never know, might be able to pick up a couple of these guys at the same time. Going through the hairpin, I'm going to try and see if I can pick up the, the traction early on here to get a move on our con. DRS will now be enabled for us, so we can use it on the pit straight. So that is going to help us maybe make the move on our con. Our straight line speed seems pretty good. Here we go. DRS wide open for the first time this race. Across the line, 119 it looks like as well, so good pace from us. Down the inside of our con. Yes, nice move on the brakes. Super late braking move. Easy does it to unlock the rears. But we're now into the point. Fernando Alonso. Next up, we of course will be racing around here for the first time. For Alpine this weekend. Let's see if we can try and close down on the Spaniard. To the hairpin. Again, not sure what line to take through here. It's a very tricky corner to get right. Seems like that actually worked out quite nicely for us. Could I go for the move on Fernando here, maybe? Down the inside. Not quite. I thought about it. Oh, the back end is really trying to get away from me here. I can't lie, this is so good though to see the AI actually behave themselves. It took me so many attempts in Imola to get this. Looks like this time the AI are actually a little bit more intelligent, which is good to see. But this move on Alonso is about to happen here. I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Car is working very, very well through the hairpin, trying to get that power down as soon as possible. Right, let's try this move. Similar one to last lap, but this time with Ocon's teammate. There we go. Nice. We're in the slipstream in the rule tracks of the multiple time world champion Fernando Alonso. Down towards turn one. Are we going to go for this move again here? Yes, we are, but we've run in a bit wide. Make a bit of an error. That's going to allow Alonso back through. I'm going to try and fight back though around the outside of three. That gives me the inside through four. I've got to be careful through here. I've not got the confidence to keep it flat out. Drag race down to the hairpin. On the brake, super late here. A little bit wide as I had to take an early apex, but we get the move done. And we're ahead of Alonso for P9 on lap 5 of this race, so we're doing well now. Sonoda up next in the Alpha Tauri. Let's see if we can try and get past the exciting young Japanese driver. I might be able to get Sonoda here. I've had a really strong end to the lap. He doesn't have a super strong slipstream on signs, which means we can actually go for this move into turn one quite nicely. Oh, but again, I've run in a bit hot. Completely out broke myself. There's going to be a carbon copy of the last lap here with Alonso, but I'm going to try and get this one done a little bit earlier. Up the inside of four, I'm going to keep my throttle pin, but Sonoda hangs on. Bit of contact, but this time we do get the move done. Although Sonoda going back down the inside here. But I don't think he's going to go for that as we turn in there. And there we go. That move is done. Still got two and a half laps to go. With P8, Science is the next car. Got plenty of energy to use, which is also really encouraging. So we can definitely try and line up a few moves there. But you can see, by using that extra energy and engine power, we almost lose the back end. Those traction zones are so complicated. Let's see if we can line up Carlos for an overtake here. If I can get the drive out of here. Maybe into the hairpin, possibly. Down the inside of signs. Nice. Nice move there. On the Spaniard. Now P7. Can I get Gasly here as well, maybe? If I can get the run. Through the final corner of the AI. I seem to go very wide through here. No, not quite. I think I'm a bit far back from move on Pierre. But we're getting closer now. Two laps to go. That was another good lap from us. Is it going to be a personal best? Not quite. Just a tenth off. Into turn one we go, throwing the car in there. Do I go for this? 
Yes, I do. And the inside of Pierre Gasly into turn three. Bit of contact as we lock on. But we make the dive bomb work. And we get past. Nice stuff. When our P6. Absolutely flying here. Now we've got Leclerc next. In the second Ferrari. Let's try and get him. Unless Gazi here tries to get a back pass. Which I'm just going to kind of cut across his nose. Oh, Gazi, thinking about it there. I had to think twice about hitting the apex. But luckily we managed to get it done. Right, last lap of the race then, guys. I'm already running full power. Three more cars up ahead. Leclerc, Perez, Bottas. This is for the podium. I'm running full power. So let's see if we can try and send it. And try and close up to these guys as much as possible. Through the hairpin, that was nice through there. We're going to have to give it absolutely everything through the twisty section as we lose Carlos Sainz. I'm guessing some kind of incident, maybe. But look at this. Really closing up on the clove through here. Being a little bit cautious there with the throttle. Downhill, back uphill again into the double right. Going to go for a late apex here. Oh, that's good. That's going to put me right on the close gearbox. Oh, we almost run into the back of Charles Leclerc. Gonna go down the inside though into the hairpin. Leclerc fights back around the outside. Can we get anything else out of this? As we head through the final couple of corners now. Getting the power down super early here. Through the final corner, it's gonna be a run to the line. Can we possibly get Leclerc here for P5 on the line? It's gonna be close and we don't quite get it. And there we go, P6. Wow, what a race. That was great fun. I really enjoyed that. Well, there we go then, guys. That is it for a race at Portimao. Great, great fun. Obviously, the racing might not be as good because of the dirty air in real life. But if we were to race here next year with the lower, you know, dirty air, kind of lower downforce cars, it could be quite spicy. So I do hope Portimao stays on the calendar for the future seasons, just like Imola as well. But it's great to go to a proper traditional racing circuit and i really enjoyed that race eight laps of absolute madness and from p20 to p6 as sebastian vettel i will happily take that but guys if you enjoyed the race and you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe for more content as always the mods will be linked down below in the description i'm using a set of corsa for reference not f1 2020 or 2021 and uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as always a big shout out and thank you to the members of the channel for supporting the content and if you haven't done so already guys check out the two videos on your screen and uh, give those a watch but guys thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time